Welcome everybody to Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications. I'm Brian Krasik and we have with us today Ankur Bond from Nokia. Ankur, welcome. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about what you do for Nokia? Yeah, so I'm a Global Head of Automation and AI Practice in our Cloud and Cognitive Services business unit where we are responsible for managing mission critical networks for service providers and large enterprises all across the globe. Well, there's nothing more important than mission critical networks. I think those are synonymous when we think about that. And there's been a lot of core trends happening throughout the industry, both on the communication service provider side as well as the enterprise side. Could you kind of give a view of what you're seeing in the marketplace? Absolutely. So as you know, the networks are increasingly becoming a lot more complex, disaggregated and open. And so there is a lot more complexity in managing these new generation of network uh, architectures. And in Nokia, in cloud and cognitive services business, we are responsible for managing these networks on an end-to-end -end basis. Uh, the key trends that we see coming from our customers is that they would like to see these operations becoming a lot more efficient and they put a lot of premium on the experience that their customers are getting from these networks. So for us, it is absolutely critical that we drive efficiency in our operations and also improve the performance of these networks so that the end users can get the right value um, from, from these networks. So we can't have a conversation without generative AI. What are you seeing at Nokia and how do you plan to integrate that to help benefit your customers? Absolutely, so both traditional AI and generative AI have a huge role to play in evolving the maturity of network operations capabilities. We have been using some of the traditional AI use cases for some time, um, like uh, uh, anomaly detection or predicting the KPI degradations. But increasingly, we see now uh, generative AI playing a strong role as well. Whether it would be a use of generative AI to build a knowledge base where our engineers can easily query various issues or use of generative AI to diagnose and identify a root cause of a complex problem with a lot of explainability. And we are seeing these use cases come alive in, in uh, our network operations. So, I mean, making me smarter in the network operations world, making me more efficient, not really replacing me, but that efficiency is pretty critical because it is getting so complex, as you stated. Absolutely, so uh, we still see there's gonna be a human in the loop um, with the generative AI, so it's not completely replacing the human layer, but it is largely assisting um, the humans with a lot of analysis, a lot of uh, troubleshooting behind the scenes to give the engineers um, the root cause behind the issues as well, and I see that really getting uh, quite real in, in various network operations. And it services cases. that instantaneously in, in a lot of cases too, which is in, incredibly valuable. Whereas before, to get to root cause, there was a lot of analysis and a lot of lag. We are already seeing, you know, for some of the complex issues where in past it used to take hours of troubleshooting with, you know, lots of engineers, where we now see this becoming job of machines to really get the data out from the system, provide a very clear root cause for the issue and could be solved in minutes what used to take hours. This is, this is great and I think a, a really good application of generative AI. And I want to kind of move to, we've had a partnership for many, many years now. What's your view of that partnership? How are we working better together to help service our customers? Absolutely, so Google Cloud is a strategic partner for Nokia in our journey to automate um, and drive AI network operations. We've been working with Google Cloud and leveraging its capabilities. And one of the biggest advantage we see with Google Cloud is time to market. Our engineers can focus more on use cases, bringing them to life, and get leveraging off-the-shelf capabilities of Google Cloud to fast track the use cases um, into operations. Well, I tell you what, um, we really enjoyed the partnership and I think our customers enjoy that too because we're building, bringing and building a lot of nice products together and bringing them to market. So we appreciate that. And if you look into the future, what do you see? 
on the operations side. In future, we see the networks becoming more and more autonomous, and uh, we see a lot of automation and AI getting injected into operations, and a lot more closed loop automation um, as well. So this is a journey that we are uh, working together with Google Cloud and really proud of our partnership so far. We love the journey, we love the mission, and thank you, Ankur, for being here. And that's it for now at Google Cloud Innovators in Telecommunications.